usual way of starting the evening. Um, this gives me enormous pleasure to be given the opportunity to introduce tonight's Composers Hub winner, um, Lisa Robertson. Let's give her a hand. And I have this sort of personal vicarious delight in that um, Lisa used to study with me at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland as a violinist. And so I'm particularly proud of this moment. Um, so Lisa, would you tell us a little bit about your beautiful work that we're about to play? Thank you very much. Um, well, for this piece, Amphidian, I was inspired by watching eagles fly near my home in the West Highlands on the sound of Mull. Theod Ian is a poetic Gaelic word for eagle, which literally translates as the true bird. And this piece celebrates the amazing flying skills of the bird of birds. For example, you can hear in the opening gesture where the eagle takes off with an impetus beginning from the leader and flying outwards across the orchestra until it's hovering, riding on air currents and looking down at the sparkling landscape below. So if you imagine mist-covered mountains and forests um, overlooking the sea. And this gesture happens a few times in the piece with the eagle flying backwards and forwards across the orchestra, including one occasion where our musical eagle begins at the back of the violins and dive bombs right across the orchestra to land on its prey in the lower brass section. <laughs> Apologies about that. <laughs> um, and you can also hear our musical eagle uh, sky dancing at one point, so swooping and rising back and forth in the violins. In the middle part of the piece, I explore the perhaps slightly wary relationship between golden eagles who are characteristically nervous and sensitive, and they are represented with a quivering downward gesture, in contrast to the much more extroverted sea eagles, represented with a bold and flashy rising gesture. In recent years, I've been really shocked and distressed to learn just how much the local eagle population has already suffered owing to the effects of climate change. I feel that particularly being so close to home for me, it's a really poignant reminder of the urgency of the climate crisis. It's been amazing to get to work on this piece with the fantastic RSNO, both throughout the Composers Hub this year and in rehearsals this week with the brilliant Thomas Sundergaard. So I will now leave you in their very excellent hands as they bring Amphidian to life. Thank you.